This is not your typical custom shortcuts tip where you can head over to Final Cut Pro, Command Sets, Customize and create custom shortcuts. Oh no, this is way better. Let me show you an example. If you often find yourself needing to open up this view menu to toggle on the show horizon option when you need to line up titles to the center of your screen and then having to toggle it off again in the menu, you might have thought of creating a shortcut for it by heading over to Final Cut Pro Command Sets Customize, only to find that when you search for show horizon, it's not possible to create a custom shortcut for it. So here's the little trick that will let you create a shortcut for it and for anything else in the Final Cut Pro menu for that matter, including shortcuts to assigning custom roles to clips. All you need to do is head over to the Apple menu, open up system settings, scroll down to keyboard, click on keyboard shortcuts and select app shortcuts from the sidebar. Here you can just click on the plus icon and change all applications to Final Cut Pro only. Now this is where you type in the menu title and it has to be exactly as it appears in the menu. We can see in Final Cut Pro that it's called Show Horizon. I'll type Show Horizon in here and assign the shortcut Control Option Command H. When setting up custom shortcuts, I personally prefer using all three modifiers because in my mind, if I know it's a custom shortcut that I've set up, then it's easy to remember to just hit all three keys and then the letter I need for that shortcut. Jumping back into Final Cut Pro, you can see that I now have this shortcut assigned to the drop down menu here. So there's no need to click into the menu every time anymore. I can just hit Control Option Command H to turn it on and off. Now, I wish I could take credit for figuring this out, but it was actually one of your two favorite Dylans who figured it out. Yep, it was Dylan John who brought this trick to my attention, so make sure you head over to his channel and show him some love. But Dylan got me thinking, if we could use this method of creating shortcuts for menu items, could we use this method to create custom shortcuts for custom roles? We already have the shortcuts Control Option T and Control Option V to assign title and video roles to clips, and Control Option D for dialogue, Control Option E for effects, and Control Option M for music. And until now, I thought it was impossible to set up a custom shortcut for custom roles, and I've been right clicking on a role and assigning them like some sort of farm animal. Using the same method I showed you earlier, add a new Final Cut Pro shortcut and assign it to whatever shortcut you want. My first custom role is for B-roll and to make things easier I use the same three modifier keys, Control, Option and Command and the first letter of each role. In my case, this is what my typical roles template looks like. I have the default titles and video roles that I already have shortcuts for and then I've added B-roll, downloaded, which is usually for stock clips or other clips downloaded from the internet, graphics, images and screen recordings. I also have the default audio roles like dialogue, effects and music, but I've created my own custom roles for B-roll audio, downloaded audio, graphics audio and screen recording audio. So I've created a shortcut for each custom video role and then by using the modifiers shift control option and the same letter, I created audio role shortcuts for all of my custom audio roles. Now when I bring in a bunch of footage, I can very quickly assign all of my roles using these new shortcut keys. But there is one very important thing you should do to make sure this works across all of your different projects and libraries. You need to create your own roles template. Your exact template will probably be different to mine, but essentially you want to create a title for each custom video role using the shortcut Control T and then have some kind of audio file in the project that you can duplicate and assign to each custom audio role. Come over to your index window, select roles and then edit roles. Click here to add a video role and then over here to add an audio role and assign colors and names as you see fit. Once you have a template that looks something like this, save it somewhere that's easy to access, like your movies folder. Then every time you create a new project, you can open this template up and drag the role template project into an event in the new project and all of these roles will be copied across. This allows you to keep using these new custom shortcuts you created in any project. You absolutely need to start using roles if you don't already, so to find out why and to learn more about roles, watch this video next.